Welcome! This video demonstrates how easy it is to deploy and set up the fabric environment for the Flex System Interconnect fabric. This deployment configuration consists of two G8264CS switches that will serve as the master and backup once they're configured. This configuration also features two SI4093 interconnect modules that are installed in a Flex System chassis with several compute nodes. The SI4093 modules are used to connect the Flex System chassis to the interconnect fabric. To fully configure and connect the Flex System interconnect fabric to all the devices shown in this diagram can require as few as three commands. This demonstration features more display requests in order to show the status of the interconnect fabric deployment at various points in the process. We're assuming all equipment has previously been installed, cabled up, and powered up. We are also assuming the Flex System Interconnect Fabric image file has been loaded and installed onto all of the G8264CS and SI4093 switches targeted to be in this configuration. Please note, after this initial provisioning process, any future software upgrades require the image file be loaded only onto the master G8264CS switch. The master switch then manages the upgrade process for all the other switches in the fabric. The first step in the Flex System Interconnect fabric creation process is to configure the two G8264CS switches. This step may require the modification of provisioning parameters that enable the G8264CS switches to form the interconnect fabric. This demonstration will be accomplished by viewing the user interfaces for two rack switch G8264CS switches. The Show Boot Fabric request presents the default switch parameters. Ports 17 through 35 on these switches are preset to be used as interconnect fabric ports. This means these ports are used to connect member switches to the interconnect fabric. As is noted, currently both of the G8264CS switches are members of the interconnect fabric. However, neither one of these has yet been configured as the master switch. The Show Fabric Switch request presents information indicating the G8264CS ports are active and connected for connecting to each other and to the SI4093 switches. Also noted is the status of the master and backup switches. Since they've not yet been configured, the master and backup switches have not yet been learned in the interconnect fabric. The next step in this process is to designate which of the G8264CS switches will be the master and to form the interconnect fabric. This is implemented with the boot fabric mode master command. Incidentally, this is the first command issued so far in this provisioning process. To implement the designation of master and backup switches requires that the designated master switch be rebooted. This is accomplished with the reload command. Note, this is only the second command issued so far in this process. Rebooting of the master switch will take a few minutes. When the master G8264CS switch has finished rebooting, the configuration will come up as shown on the user interface and the interconnect fabric will begin to form. The fabric requests then come in from the various switches. Now the designated G8264CS switch asserts itself as the master and commands the other G8264CS switch to function as the backup. At this point, the fabric is now partially formed. 
all the G8264CS switches and SI4093 switches in this configuration are now known. However, the SI4093 switches are only shown as attached. This means they're only linked into the interconnect fabric. They have not yet been incorporated into the interconnect fabric. To incorporate the SI4093 switches into the interconnect fabric requires the third and final command of this demonstration. This is the fabric bind command. The fabric bind command will attempt to incorporate into the interconnect fabric all of the detected switches connected to the designated ports on the G8264CS switches. All of the links are then brought to the SI4093 switches. With the successful completion of this command, there now exists one unified fabric that exists between all four switches in this network. A show fabric switch request indicates all of the switches are now members of the interconnect fabric. Incidentally, in this demonstration, had we been connecting nine flex system chassis to the interconnect fabric using 18 SI4093 switches, two switches per chassis, all nine chassis would have been joined to the interconnect fabric by issuing the fabric bind command only once. So, this network now features a fully deployed flex system interconnect fabric consisting of two G8264CS switches and one flex system chassis with two embedded SI4093 modules. Looking at the results of a show path map and LLDP requests, show connectivity from any of the four interconnect fabric members to any other member of the interconnect fabric. These requests also show which aggregated links are utilized. Also, since the entire fabric is now considered one extended switch, the LLDP request shows adjacencies to servers and other switches that are not part of the interconnect fabric. This now concludes the Flex System Interconnect Fabric Provisioning Demonstration. Thank you for your time and your interest.